Welcome back to Crisco's Corner, unfiltered commentary, not your truth, the real truth. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome. I'm going to do a review. I watched the documentary, for lack of a better term, uh, maybe movie, whatever you want to call it, from the Daily Wire with Matt Walsh's What is a Woman? It's very fascinating, and I'm going to try to give a review here. I'm not going to show any clips because I'm afraid there's going to be some copyright claims. It's very well done. Some of it, I do have to say, in all fairness, Matt Walsh is a very conservative person like myself, and I agree with everything he says in this documentary, by the way. But he's taking it from his perspective. Now, that perspective is rooted in reality, the reality of nature, the world, humans, biology. And some of it, he makes that side look incredibly foolish and ridiculous. But he doesn't, take that back, he doesn't make him look like that. They make themselves look like that. And it's funny during the interviews with people on both sides of this issue, the transitioning of, especially our younger people, let alone adults, they find it in several different interviews with people, and I'm really surprised they sat down with them. They must have asked thousands before they got these the uh, half dozen or so or maybe 10 people to that are on the pro side of this issue. They basically either walked away from the interview or just refused to carry on the interview. One is a congressman. Uh, one is a actual pediatrician. It's insane what these people believe. I'm sorry it is. I wish there was a better answer for what they called up to about 15 minutes ago, gender dysphoria. I feel for these people. My heart goes out to them. I have great sympathy for them and wish them all the happiness that life will allow. But this is not the way to combat that. And that's been going on for quite a while, as long as there's been humans. Matt Walsh, he, a lot of it's tongue-in-cheek, so to speak, but a lot of it isn't. And if you really, really just listen to the, say you just saw a transcript without the, without the video, without the, uh, just the audio only, you would be alarmed. Be afraid, be very afraid, and it's catching fire. Now, how long will it last this so-called uh, transformation issue, especially with children and teens. I don't know, but I do know this now. 15, 20 years from now, there's going to be a backlash. There's going to be a backlash on these doctors, pharmaceutical companies who are making billions off of this issue. It's just amazing to me. And I think Matt, he's kind of like me. He's a sarcastic SOB, and I mean that in a good way. And he asked a simple question, what is a woman? And the answer is, from everyone that's pro on this issue of transforming, it is whatever you want it to be. In other words, there's no definitions anymore. There's nothing. You can make up stuff as you go along, and it's incredible. And they have a very, very hard time justifying it a lot when you break it down to its fundamental roots. I think that besides the mental and, and physical pain that's going to be involved with these people 20 years from now, irreversible things that will change them forever, forever, for the rest of their lives, if this continues anymore, I believe in 10 years, especially at the college level and above, women's sports 
will not exist. It just simply won't exist. And there'll be very few non-trans women competing in sports that will almost become a trans segment all by itself. That's not even counting the social implications with restrooms and, and everything else. It's a, it's a very, very, very dark and dangerous future for a lot of these people. And like I said, we all suffer from mental illness at one time or another, some extreme, some not. It's called life, unfortunately. And you deal with it the best you can, family, friends, professional help. And I wish all these people, the, the God, wish, the, wish them all the best in the world. But... Matt Walsh, I think, did an unbelievable job of this. He really did. Granted, a lot of it's tongue-in-cheek. He's laying bare, kind of like in a comedic style in, in parts of it, the ridiculousness of this entire thing. Now, this, doc, this probably would be taken down by YouTube, but if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. I'll put it up on Rumble as well. But I just wanted you to get an idea. It is worth watching. And it's worth watching for the average young person especially that doesn't have any of these issues, uh, with gender dysphoria, whatever you want to call it, that doesn't have these issues but believe in the cause of it. Watch this and learn. Watch and learn talking to so-called experts, professionals, doctors, psychiatrists, pediatricians, actual cases of people that have gone through this. It's fascinating stuff. If you're not sure what to think because you're afraid to say something out loud socially, that you'll be crucified at school or at work, it's worth watching. It's worth watching. These people that push a left agenda, use the tactics of fear and alienation, i.e. you'll be crucified on social media, you'll be ostracized at school, uh, you'll actually be fired from your job. In the cases in Canada, in certain places, you can actually go to jail. As you'll see, a father of one young man tells his story from Canada. It's just going to get worse. And eventually I think the bubble will burst on this issue. And then the fallout comes. Then the fallout. There has been no studies of any long-term effects with hormones. And everything that they do know about it so far has all been incredibly negative, i.e. cancer and other things. I think it's worth watching. But it's especially worth watching for people that say, you know what, I fly the rainbow flag. They have a right. A young person has a right. And all those rights you're supposedly supposed to have. Watch this with an open mind and then tell me what you think. Like I said, I can't go into a lot of, a lot of detail because I can't show any video, I should say, because of the copyright issues. But this is well worth seeing. It's a little over an hour and a half. I believe it's an hour and 34 minutes. It's worth seeing. It's worth talking about to people, it's your friends, colleagues, maybe even some of your preteen or especially teen children or your niece or your nephew, your own child that might be struggling. I think this is worth seeing. So I'll just leave it at that. And like I said, this is my opinion. This is my review. And I hope you do watch it. And let me know when you do watch it, what you think of it in the comment section below. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.